That's so fucking silly. If you're a Christian, you get cheesed off into Jesus. I got Jew hating stuff to follow it. So, I mean, you are a shithead, but I can make you feel like you're not the only shithead. Damn. Fuck, a big blistering chunk of Jew hating coming right your way right now. I, didn't, I, I wrote this uh, bunch of Jew hating stuff. I didn't intend to. I was over in Scotland. For, every year in August in Edinburgh, Scotland, they have the Fringe Festival. It's the biggest arts festival in the world. It's a whole month long. And I'm there in August, and uh, some jackass writer for the uh, London Times, he's, trying to, he's writing a story about anti Semitism at the Fringe. And they had found a review of mine from earlier in the festival, this anti-Semitic guy, and, the, and, and where I had been quoted out of context, like, oh, it, just a string of blurbs. He says shocking things like blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And one of the things I had said that he quoted was, I hate the Jews. <laughs> Which sounds anti-Semitic. <laughs> So all of a sudden, I get thrown into his little piece of literature, and I had said it. I had said it, yeah, without question, but I had said it, like, in a happy, fun-loving, Jew-hating way. There's no animosity. I, it wasn't even a bit of mine. It was just some aside when I was rambling about fucking Mel Gibson was in the news at that time, and I'm rambling about him being called anti-Semitic, going, why is he getting so much press? He's an actor. Who gives a fuck what he thinks? I need press. I hate the Jews. Give me press. And ironically, <laughs> bam, 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 banging on the door. It's a fucking funny story. If you know me, if you guys have known me for a while, I've been doing this 17 years, and I, I, I could fill three CDs worth of just the Christian bashing alone I've done over my career. I've done Mormon bashing and Muslim bashing. I'll do, I'll do more Scientology bashing once I have a stronger legal team, but... <laughs> But it wasn't, it wasn't until this phone call that I realized I've never done any Jew bashing in my whole career. All the religion bashing I've done, I never fuck with the Jews. I'm like, what? how did they ever escape? <laughs> and they do. They, you know, in religion bashing, Jews never get fucked with because, A, they don't have the aggressive recruiting policies that other religions do. They don't have billboards every 30 feet. Yeah, be a Jew or burn in hell. Jew God is watching you. They're not banging on your fucking door with pamphlets. We want to talk to you about Judaism. <laughs> so they don't get shit for that. They don't get shit because they have that Holocaust sympathy they can surf on for another 15 years till the last survivor dies or till History Channel goes out of business. But... <laughs> And the Jews, to their credit, they don't have the history of atrocities that other religions have. They don't, because they fucking lost all the time. Sorry. Right? But they don't, yeah. They, they're, they're not like, you know, the Muslims and Catholics. I've heard so many comics doing bits about this new pope. Oh, isn't it scary this new pope used to be a Nazi? And you go, not when you look at that track record side by side. The Nazis versus the Catholic Church? The Nazis only lasted a dozen years and they got their ass handed to them in a high hat. <laughs> Catholic Church has been has a far more prosperous and prestigious record of murder and torture and tyranny and oppression and nonsense. Not to mention the kid fucking, and they're still around and more popular than ever. I'd be far more afraid to hear someone go, you know that new Nazi? He used to be a pope. No shit. I'm fucking out of here. That guy's dangerous. <laughs> so fuck the Jews. That's what I'm saying. I guess fuck the Jews. I'm sorry. I never said it over the course of my career, but fuck the Jews. Just for being a religion at all, you're as complicit as the rest in the retardation of human intellectual progress. Fuck you two. Fuck 
you. My brother's a Jew. My brother's a Jew, and I fucking fuck him too. I hate his guts for it. I'm like, I'm like hate, hate level, but fuck, what do you, do you think? He converted, because the only humorless cunt in his life that would ever fuck him twice, he had to cave in and marry her. Because he's afraid to die alone, but he, but he doesn't mind settling for less, and now they're together and in a passionless swamp of a relationship. And, they teach their kids that shit. The, the, see, the parents wouldn't have him if he wasn't converted to Judaism because they're racist. And there's another reason to fuck the Jews. I don't like racists. Fuck you too, Jew. You're not good enough if you're not a Jew. Fuck you. Mostly I hate the Jews because they're wicked annoying. Can we agree on that? Really, they're wicked annoying. <laughs> Of all the religions I, I've been around, the Jews have a tendency to throw their Judaism into whatever conversation you're having. Like any topic, whatever the subject. Whoa, that's funny, because I'm a Jew. Oh, oh, what? oh, I have a typical Jewish mother. Did I say I grew up Jewish? Well, my Jew family had Jew, 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 Jew. That's all I got to say, Jew, Jew. Why, 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 why do you keep saying Jew? Why do you keep saying Jew? I'm at an airport bar with you. I have to talk to you, but can you stop reminding me that you're irrational in every third sentence? It's like, it's like people who are really into their astrological sign and they have to pitch that into whatever conversation you're having to define themselves. That's funny, I'm a Virgo. Here's my Virgo coming out again. <laughs> You're going to have to excuse me. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. It's because I'm a Virgo. No, it's because you're a douchebag. And you've been busting my balls all day. It has nothing to do with your astrological sign or some alignment of the stars. It's because you're a shithead. And it's time for you to take individual responsibility for who you are. Don't act... Like if your parents had fucked a month earlier, you'd be feeding me chili dogs and letting shit slide. You're an asshole. Be who you are. But I'm a Jew. We naturally carry a lot of guilt. It's a Jewish thing. No, it's a you thing. You, that fuckhead in that chair. has nothing to do with Judy. If you have guilt, maybe you're weak of character. Maybe you're fucking guilty of something. I don't know. Maybe you just stole that bottle of Jaeger out of my freezer. And you're to, but it has nothing to do with some ancient tribe of blah, blah, blah. That is, that's not attached to your DNA, right? By the, by, the, by the same logic, we all come from apes. But I don't throw ape in every conversation. Use ape to define myself. Use ape as an excuse to defecate in my thumbless mitt and then hurl it at you. I'm sorry, did I, did I just splatter you with wet feces? I'm sorry, I have a very rich ape upbringing, a strong ape heritage. I, I'm an ape, 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 really worthless as an individual. Anybody, anybody who defines themselves solely on their, their race or their religion or their nationality, if that's the first thing out of your mouth, well, what are you all about? Well, if that's the first thing on your MySpace page, <laughs> well, I'm an Irish American, but what the fuck is that? Who, well, you got nothing else. <laughs> Community college and something else, but you use that fucking trivia because you got nothing to say. <laughs> Useless.